Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Hello you lovely person, where have you been all my life? We are here once again bringing you the latest showbiz stories, the fun things we found on the internet, and shall we say, an enlightening life lesson. But first it's time to talk to the man who knows the value of a garden gnome, it's Lee. It's priceless. <laughs> they are priceless, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They get into your heart and your soul. <laughs> yes. yeah. I'm bringing you some exciting news from the world of showbiz, including a story about a comedy duo that are reuniting. Oh, that's exciting. And I've been scurrying around the internet like a demented crab to bring you the latest things I've found, including a story about a new fashion show. You can still slide into our DMs, use source pots on your social media platforms. That's the Cud TV and our website, which is the Cud.tv. If you want to listen to us as a podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. If you have commented, shared, or clicked like on one of our social media platforms, then your name could be sliding along the screen underneath my bosoms that are covered in butterflies. Mm. Hang on. I can smell something. Is it you? Oh, sorry, the excitement was a bit too much. I have to sit on that chair sometimes, you know. Poopy. Game of the week. The producer was telling me he went for a walk on the heath yesterday. It's at a place known locally for dogging. He says he's only there for the wildflowers, but will often come across a buttercup on the common. He's a complete size queen and has asked us to place these things in order. And you can go firstly. I've heard he likes a rosebud. We are doing the size check game. Yes. Biggest to smallest. Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. With choices are the average length of a human's sperm, the average length of a fruit fly's sperm, the average length of a sperm whale sperm. Sperm, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you work. missed it. Yeah, sorry, yeah. We're, we're, we're measuring what now? Sperms. Sperms. Okay. Uh, singular or multiple sperms? I don't, are we going for the average size? Was it the average size? Like a load or yeah. just like one single? <laughs> what if you get a very long sperm? What I don't sperm? know. They're, um, <sighs> well, logic tells me that a whale it's got to have a, a big, big wang. Uh huh. It does have a big wang. So it's called a door. It's called a door. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah. <laughs> We've had that conversation. Um, yeah. Um, um, now, but then, if you kind of ratio to creature, perhaps the fruit fly has to lob its sperm, <laughs> like <laughs> like Spider Man. Like Spider Man. <laughs> um, so right, I'm going to go with fruit fly. Uh huh. Human, whale. Okay, I'm going to go for human, whale, fruit fly. Let us see whose jizz is the longest. Is the longest. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. So I, I got the first one right. Did yeah. I? Uh, did I say fruit fly first? No, you said whale first, didn't you? No, I said whale last. Whale last. Yeah. Okay. So um, the, the the yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no points, but 58 centimetres per sperm, that's, that's impressive because fruit flies are tiny. Mmm. wonder if they would even know if, that it's... <laughs> I think they'd know. <laughs> <laughs> the size that they are in a sperm being like twice the size I mean, of if you walk, If a human walked past uh, a fruit fly when it was cracking one off, we wouldn't know it, if it landed on us, would we? <laughs> I think we should move on quite quickly. <laughs> These are the thoughts that go through my mind. Yes. The ones we've got next are the length of a London Routemaster bus, mm -hmm. the average height of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and the distance a kangaroo can jump. Oh. oh. Okay. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that the longest is the kangaroo jump. You think? Yeah, so I'm going to go kangaroo jump, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and then bus. Oh. See, T-Rexes... Um, yes, there's the small hands. Yeah, small, small hands. hands. Can't do bodies. a lot. Can't put the masks on because they can't reach. No, can't make a can't make a bed. Can't do anything. Um, I'm going to say T-Rex because uh, you know, and then I'm going to say bus, uh -huh. and then I'm going to say kangaroo. Okay, shall we have a look who's right? Let's see. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I think I was right. Were you? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be magnanimous in victory. Uh, okay, let's have another one. 
the speed. Oh, why is it? Why am I getting all the? Why am I getting all the sperm ones? Um, speed at which a chimp sperm swims. Okay. Um, speed at which a human sperm swims, and the average speed of a garden snail, who isn't sperming. <laughs> <laughs> he might be on the way. Yeah. He might be having a wander and having a. a and when we walk. say swimming, I presume we mean inside the the cavity that it that it is. Going into it's in, not just gone, itself in. Yeah, yes. it's not just having a nice hot day and gone for a little swim in the pool. Well, they, they do just swim though, don't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I've completely forgotten that. What, what so it was man, chimps, chimp sperm, yeah. human sperm, mm -hmm. and a garden snail, which goes, which which swims, <laughs> which is quickest, which is quickest. Who's um, got the fastest swimmers? Hmm. I'm gonna say chimp. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to say snail, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to say human. So I think the quickest is human, mm -hmm. then chimp, then snail having a little bit of a wander. Okay, I'm going to, because I know you've had a lot of experience with sperm. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've had some. 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 Um, um, let's see. Oh. Oh. None of us were right. No. A, a snail just trundling along is faster than a, a monkey and a man ejaculating. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought that? It doesn't you know? feel like that. <laughs> it's also a lot easier to pick up a snail. It is, yeah. Depends what you've been eating, though. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's have the next one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story there, people. <laughs> let's have the next one. Okay, so we've got a size check of Age and Years of Celine Dion, Age and Years of Madonna, and Age and Years of Fiona Bruce. When you say Age and Years is that combined, added up, <laughs> like, like, say I'm right. 25, uh -huh. is it 5 and 2 added together? No, no, it's their, their age. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I believe that Celine Dion is 4,092 years old. See what you did there with yeah. the, the... Did she have a song called I Believe? Yes. She did, yeah. <laughs> I think she did. That was Otherwise sad. the joke was really, Total really bad. <laughs> yes. um, okay. um, but then Madonna is 5,209 years old. Mm -hmm. And Fiona Bruce is about 28. Is that mm -hmm. a hard paper round? I'm going to go with, I think Fiona Bruce is deceptively old than we think. I think she's kind of mid-60, like 63, 64. Mm. And then I think it's Madonna. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Where's that accent from? <laughs> I don't know. I nearly said Granny Madge, and I know people don't like it when, when we say mean things about Madonna. What, what did you uh, call her? Granny Madge. Granny Madge. Granny Madge. Lee said Granny Madge, everybody. <laughs> and then Celine. She, she is, might look the oldest, uh -huh. but is the youngest. So um, Fiona, Madge, Celine. And I've gone, I've gone Madge, Celine. And then Fiona. So shall we see? So let's have a look. Oh! oh. Madonna oh. is 61. At time of recording. And that's an official age rather than what she says she is. <laughs> she's Go around telling people she's, she's timeless. 30. She's not timeless. <laughs> Oh, are we, uh, shall we, shall we just check and see what this concept of scoring is at yeah, the shall moment? Shall we have a look? So I have one point. And I have none. And you have zero. I've, the mighty has fallen, hasn't it? <laughs> I, I'm not doing well. It's, it's all that confidence that you had. Yeah. I'd just like to say that on, on the work Zoom quiz yesterday, mm -hmm. I won. Okay. With the most points. Well done. What was the number of points that you got? Um, it was something like 58 out of 60. Oh, that's actually quite mm -hmm, respectable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so this is just a... This is a debacle. momentary blip, everybody. <laughs> a momentary <laughs> blip that keeps happening week after week. Yeah. After are, we week. Gonna, are we having another one? Are we going to lob another one out? Oh, go on then. See if we can make it a draw for you. So Scrabble tile value for boobies. Scrabble tile value for knockers. Scrabble tile value for bumhole. Did... A 12-year-old <laughs> put this one together. Well, the producer did. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> we know his level of... of yeah. <laughs> you can imagine what his Scrabble board would be like. He's the kind of guy that highlights in the dictionary all the rude words. Yeah. Types 
boobies on the calculator. Eight o o eight one three five. Yeah, well done. Try it all out at home, kids. <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't a clue because I don't play Scrabble. Um, I think it's bumhole boobies knockers. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go random knockers boobies bumhole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look, see if you've got, reclaimed any points. <laughs> oh. Uh, Never mind. No points for anyone. So no I still points win. for anyone. But but as as with every week, we have learned. We've, we've learned things we have no value for in real life. No, no. Anyway, still to come, we are bringing you a new epic life lesson. And if you want to microwave a tennis ball, you can. I just wouldn't really recommend it. Because coming up is Lee with the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. I hope you haven't missed us too much for the past few minutes, but we are whizzing our way over to Lee and his showbiz news. Nice bit of showbiz today. Oh, exciting. Like a bit of showbiz. We, we do like a little bit of showbiz. Mm. It's about 11 minutes worth, not too yeah, much. Yeah, not too much, because yeah. you can feel a bit, bit sick if you have yeah, too much showbiz news. too much chocolate, yeah, not too much yeah, of it. it is. Anyway, so, um, celebrities. Mm-hmm. That's what we're going to talk about, Ooh. unusually. So, um, we all have to wear masks at the moment. Yes. The majority of us have to wear a mask. Mm -hmm. Even the celebrities, they have to go and wear a mask when they, when they is out shopping. Yeah, and, and we're, we're quite lucky in the studio because we're quite far away. Far away, on, distance. We're, we're all yeah. COVID secure, so mm. we'll, we'll be... I'm in another continent. It's just Technically, spliced yeah. it's, together. Yeah. Um, so, um, photographs have appeared of Cher oh. out shopping. Um, Does she do her own shopping? Well, I don't think she goes to, like, the supermarket to buy, like, bread and eggs and uh, stuff. I was going to say, so we're not going to see, sort of, like, Cher wandering around Lidl or Aldi? No, no, no. It's, it's Cher in, in a makeup shop. Oh, OK. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, this is Cher. This is her dressed-down <laughs> um, Cher look. <laughs> Sorry, how do you know that's Cher? That's a random person with a black wig, a face you, you, mask and there is, big glasses. The, you, there is no doubt that that is Cher or Ozzy Osbourne, one or the other. Have you ever seen them in the same place at the no, same time? No, I don't think I have ever. Not but yeah, the same so she she went out to do a bit of shopping to get a bit of makeup, like you do, mm. um, and um, geared herself up in in her shopping outfit um, and posted them to her social media because her social media is quite special. If you haven't seen I it, I have seen it. She likes a capital. She does. Um, she never uses a lowercase. Nope. And she likes to use lots of uh, um, emojis. Yes, randomly, mid, mid yeah. word sometimes. Yeah. 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 So um, she posted these onto social media and people were like really positive and going, yeah, great. She replied in her usual share way, all capitals, of course, I love wearing a mask. I can just run to market, go to the doctors, and no one knows who I am. Brackets, pray, close brackets, for day we don't need to wear them okay so she's happy that she has to wear them because nobody recognizes who them. she is although you would know that that is you'd go share ozzy <laughs> have you seen me shopping I, i'm i'm more of a just get straight through it kind of person oh no i like to look at people no I, behind people things. are obstacles to me oh, okay to get around right well so amazing that share is out and about doing a bit of shopping in a mask. Yeah, especially We've... at her age. I would have thought, you know, would have thought that she had, had to have been um, isolated. She had those meals brought to her where she phones them in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tells, <laughs> tells how many she wants for the week. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want none of that caramel. It gets in my teeth. Yeah. Um... <laughs> it's like, oh, I've got a smashing peach clock this week. <laughs> so we have some photographs of some other celebrities who have been out and about um, shopping okay. and doing doing what they do. So we have Sarah. Jessica Parker from Sunshine City. Who has to wear uh, a very large one because yeah, of course, you don't, she looks a little you, you bit don't, like There's a no law that says it has to be a mask. No, it can a be a face covering. covering. Yes. Yeah. So, she, so I would imagine that is some designer covering from <laughs> Balenciaga or... <laughs> Vivian Westwood. Georgia Asda. One of those. <laughs> Georgia Just, Asda. Oh, yeah. Fancy. Yeah, fancy one. Um, and then we have um, this gentleman who, who it's, it's Arnie. He's Arnie Schwarzenegger. 
He's he's out in a boot. Uh-huh. Um, is he Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching too much uh, Can- Canadian Drag Race. Okay. Uh, so yeah, he he was out and about, spotted out and about on his bike. And then finally, this is th- this woman is my favourite conspiracy theorist woman of all time. They met their average. No. Who do, who do you think this is now? Pre lockdown, uh-huh. she dressed like this whenever she travelled. <laughs> Right. Anywhere in the world. Um, so here she's at the airport. Uh-huh. She's fully hazmat suited up. Nothing's right. getting through to her. Nothing. There she is sat on the aeroplane. How are you going to get your free nuts in your mouth? Don't... Well, she's a muddle, so they don't muddle. eat things. It's Naomi Campbell. Um, uh... Naomi Campbell is hilarious because even before lockdown, mm-hmm. she had this huge routine when she got on an aeroplane where she had disinfectant wipes, sprays. She would clean the whole area that she was going to sit down in before um, <laughs> she would before she would even park her, her bottom. Um, I've just got this image of easy jet ground crew going, oh, Naomi's on this one, don't bother cleaning it. She'll be right. <laughs> She'll just keep telling her she's in the wrong seat. <laughs> <laughs> and move her along. <laughs> we'll have the plane done in an hour. Um, <laughs> so I, I love that. I love the fact that she, that, that, that she is giving, giving us lessons how to serve airline flight realness by completely hazmatting yourself up. Yeah. Now, the next bit of celebrity news is about a look... Mm -hmm. So, during lockdown, lots of us have been experimenting with our looks. So, shaving our heads, Mm -hmm. dyeing our... Nearly said, you big hair then. I haven't done that. Yes, he didn't say dying your pubes. It's like a rainbow down below. Um, I'm growing beards. <laughs> I, I was plaiting my beard. You were, I, I saw. Couldn't it, I couldn't get it trimmed or anything. And I was oh, scared okay. of trimming myself. So I was putting it in tiny little plaits. Right, nice. Well, celebrities have been doing that as well. And have been um, my beard. Not plaiting your beard, but plaiting their own beards and (laughs) stuff like that. Um, Harry Styles has debuted. So this is Harry Styles pre-lockdown. Okay. Looking very... Androgynous. Wearing his Nan's blouse. um, Racy Nan's blouse. Um, And this is him now. He has cultivated... A 1970s porn moustache. A porn tash. What, What do you think? What about well, we've got another me. picture of him with his tash. So he, at the moment he's 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 quarantining in Italy, like you do. Oh well, that's, yeah. I mean, we all got a choice of where we yeah. quarantine. Yeah. Um, so he went out for a run, and we've got a picture of him out um, f- having a run. Oh no, no. Is no. there not even a slight daddy vibe going on there? No, because I know he's about twelve. Yeah. It doesn't really do it for me when I know how young they are. The tattoos, the face tash. No. No. Doesn't it's do a it for me. Yeah. Well, for, for every Harry Styles tash, there is there is a bum flush. Bum flush. A bum flush. Oh well. <laughs> we a know what your flush. thoughts are. For every Harry Styles is a bum flush. Yes, there is. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, for every fully grown moustache, mm-hmm. there is a bum fluff tash. Oh. Mm. Right. Justin Bieber, step forward. Yeah. Oh. You know, when puberty kicks in, that's going to look really good. <laughs> I think he was having some jelly and then he Brown kissed jelly. his. Yeah, no. <laughs> he, he, his face got all sticky and uh-huh. then his guinea pig came over for a kiss and he kissed it and it, and it made the fur stick to his top lip. Or a caterpillar's having a sleep on his top lip. Yeah. We're not, I'm not convinced by that kind of attack. He's, he's, he's really let himself go, to be fair. He's let himself go? He's let himself go. Justin, sort it out. Sort it out, please. <laughs> but if, if Harry Styles is like twelve, then Justin Bieber must be like. Oh, it's basically a fetus. <laughs> a fetus with a tash. <laughs> a fetus with a trash. and a monkey that he, he abandoned. Did he abandon a you monkey? Don't know about that one. Vaguely, it's ringing some bells. <laughs> it was several. But I am getting confused now with Ross from Friends and the and the monkey that he had. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. That's that's slightly different people. One's a character in the 90s sitcom. Yeah. And one's... Marcel. Uh, Marcel. Tr- Marcel, yeah. Marcel, yeah. So, Justin Bieber didn't have a monkey called Marcel that, no. he, he, that he'd sent... No. No, he just had to abandon him because he couldn't get into a, a country with the monkey. So. Oh, right. So, he just left him. Just left him. Oh. And now it's a member of a 
boy band. <laughs> I was about to say East 17. East, se- <laughs> East 17. That <laughs> properly dates you, doesn't it, that one? East, that, that hip and happening group, East 17. <laughs> East 17 <laughs> featuring Gabrielle. <laughs> <laughs> and Marcel. Um, <laughs> now, last bit of showbiz news, which I'm very excited about. Were you a French and Sordens fan? If you say no, then you need to leave. Of course I was a French and Sordens Okay, fan. that's okay. Who so isn't? They, 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 were, they are... Amazing, but they've had a little break for the past couple of years. But the past few decades, surely. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, time is meaningless to me. What is to some people? What is a year? Could mm-hmm. be a millennium. Well, I've just referenced these seven tiers. Yeah, so, so yeah, we're, we're going down that route. They have posted on social media this past week a teaser that they are getting back together to do oh. some work. So they both posted this this photo on their social media. It's not out of focus. They've not, they, they did it purposefully uh-huh. to kind of tease that they're getting back together. So the last time that they were on screen together was um, when they did their 30th anniversary of being uh, mm-hmm. a comedy duo which was um, 300 years of friends, French and Saunders back in 2017. And they haven't really done anything together since. Um, so they, they, they kind of tweeted that they're, they're together, they're writing something. We don't know what it is, whether it's going to be a sketch show or um, a, a, a full-length thing. We don't really know. They're just kind of... Seen. So, so Dawn said... Working with at Ferry Frump, who I presume that is um, Jennifer Saunders. Jennifer Saunders is name at a safe laughing distance on something that may be of interest. Dot dot dot. And then Dawn French, um, Jennifer Saunders replied, "Me and Fatty working together all day with multi breaks for cake and chips." Ofs. Um, yeah. So w- what could what could it be? I'm intrigued to find out. So. I hope it's something to do with lucky bitches. <laughs> Though I don't think it will be, because that's about 20 years ago. Current showbiz news this week, it was. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Not long now until your next life lesson. And coming up after the break, it's Mike's Buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cod. It's our very own winner of the Nigerian Lottery. It's Mike with the buzz. How much did you win? Um, I don't know. Well, they said a couple of million pounds, but I had to send £250 for the transfer uh, fee, so I'm just waiting for that to happen. It's, it's worth it, though. It's going to be worth it, totally mm-hmm. worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have been ferreting around on the internet this week uh, to find lots of different things. Now, the first thing that made me smile was we've all got different ways of getting through lockdown. Mm. Okay. I know I've, I've discovered a newfound phrase called alcoholism um, to get me through the evenings. But I, I've seen something in Italy that, that made me smile. They've brought back wine windows. Oh. Now, what this is is a, a little window in the side of a house or a pub. And what you can do is just ask for your drink and they hand it through a little hole. Oh! So you can have... A, 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 they're medieval, so they're, they're quite ancient from when they used to have a lot of plagues and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it's, you can just pop yourself and take a glass of wine, Aperol spritz, <laughs> large cocktail. Were they always... Was it always for, for the wine? Yeah, they were, always, they were always called wine windows. Were they not like medieval glory holes? I'm sure you could try that. Because <laughs> that's what I thought. That's what you were thinking of, yeah. wasn't it? Well, as soon as you saw a hand going through a hole, <laughs> you thought, <"Glorial."> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I thought, oh, well, yeah, that's good. Are you going to you fit one to your house? <laughs> <laughs> no, Getting your hacksaw out? <laughs> no, I'm having to fit them to my neighbour's houses. Oh, OK. Because otherwise I'd be serving the wine, oh, that's you, not what I want. Oh, you're right. It's all about the receiving and not the giving. I always prefer to receive than give. OK. With the wine. <laughs> You not thought about having something similar? For cakes, quite possibly. Cakes. Chocolate. Yeah, I think, um, I think a drive through is the, the most ro- mo- modern equivalent of that. Yeah. But, what, you know, I would imagine that it... You, you, I would imagine mm-hmm. that your neighbours would have to be on board with it. Yeah. You couldn't just, like, turn up and, and like... What, do you do, stand there and wait, or do you... <laughs> you <just laughs> gently put your hand over the <laughs> <hole>. <laughs> with, with a post-it note, I'm thirsty. Um, 
I don't know how it works. Actually, I don't think I... Because my next-door neighbour, Eileen, who is absolutely lovely. Come um, on, Eileen. Yeah. Um, she's 87. That's a current one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so we were mocking me for E17. Um, already buys me a bottle of Prosecco a month. Does she? Yeah. Just because she loves me so much. Okay. So I already get free booze off the neighbours. So. Yeah, and the other one puts my bins out. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you heard about a Karen? Yeah, I'm aware of the Karen. You're know, aware of the Karen. We've all got a bit of a Karen inside us. Have we? I wonder why you were sitting funny. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your understanding of a Karen, Lee? A Karen is, is, a, is a person, I'm not going to be gender specific, because mm -hmm. it, could, it could be a Karen or a Kevin uh -huh. who will complain about something regardless of what the situation is. They, they need to have it sorted there and then, unless, and if it doesn't, they want to speak to the manager or the person in charge. Mm -hmm. And they get very upset if you go, but madam, I am the manager. Yes. Right. And they have a particular haircut. Yes, they have a particular <laughs> style, a particular aesthetic. It's like three haircuts in one. Yeah. <laughs> and they can swift it and they're angry, <laughs> happy. Like spin it round, depending on the mood. Or like that man in He-Man with the multiple heads. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. more current. Yeah, yeah, even more current. <laughs> even more current. Ooh. 80s cartoons. Let's talk about Queen Victoria Ooh. next. Yes. <laughs> Um, well, someone has recovered uh, Dolly Parton's classic, Eileen, okay. as Karen, please put your face mask on. Eileen or Jolene? Jolene or Jolene. Yeah, Eileen's my neighbour. I don't remember Eileen. <laughs> Eileen's my neighbour. <laughs> she wrote yes. a lovely song about her. She is. <laughs> she put her a bottle of wine. Um, so Jolene, Dolly Parton's hit, okay. has been recovered right. as, as Karen. Please put your mask on. Oh. Um, we, ha we haven't got it to, to play you. OK. Um, Are you going to sing a bit? No. <laughs> I don't know how... How would, how would Karen... Because like, Jolene goes, Jolene. Yeah, so it's Karen. 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 Uh, Jolene. Karen. OK. Yeah, so it fits. Yeah, they've thought about it and it's worked. Um, <laughs> the link will be on our Facebook page, should you want to see it. If something catches your eye on the internet, why not share it with us? Just look for The Could TV on all your social media platforms. Someone has done just that this week and has flooded our inbox with an email, which reads... Dear Oxford English Dictionary, I am writing in my role as president of the Cockermouth Ladies Mud Wrestling Team and would like you to please explain the following. How come that Thor and Unthor mean the same thing? Yours, Mrs. Belinda Mycock. Right, um, OK, so... That's, that's different, that's unusual, because when she was saying Thor, I meant Chris Hemsworth. Mm, you're conditioned to that, aren't you? I, I am. Yeah. Yeah, like Pavlov's dog. Mm. Um, I don't know. You don't? <laughs> um, Unthor... Thor... Yeah, th so Thor is... Unthor. Well, yeah. Unthor would, is, is Unthor, so you would freeze it? No, no, because it's Unthor means to, to get from Frozen. OK. Thor... Means Does to get from Frozen. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat on that day. <laughs> That's a good question indeed. It's the same as flammable and inflammable. Are you flamingly? Always. Always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hot stuff coming through. Yes. Yes. My pants are on fire. Do you need some cream? <laughs> <laughs> I will take that as a yes. That for a while, it's affected yeah. his mind. And so that takes us to the story of the week. It's a little bit serious this week. As we all possibly know, in Poland, there's um, a lot of legislation that's anti LGBT. I have seen it on the news. Mm -hmm. Not good. Yeah, it, it's really not good. And if they've even included anti LGBT or LGBT free zones. Mm. Well, thankfully, everyone in Poland doesn't think the same. A group of female MPs purposefully dressed as a rainbow to the president's inauguration. Aww. Yeah. So in his swearing-in ceremony, the homophobic president, Andres Dua, was faced with a selection of ladies all wearing rainbow face masks and dressed in, in a rainbow procession. Good for them. Which I thought was brilliant. I saw, I saw the pictures of inside mm -hmm. when they were all sat there and everyone else is dressed in black. Yeah, everyone's looking very serious and they're... they're Loud and proud as a rainbow. Yeah, which is brilliant. Have you ever worn anything out of protest? Um, <laughs> I back, well, let's go back to the day. Um, I did, <laughs> I did, I did wear a Frankie says relax T-shirt, and I wasn't very relaxed. I was quite tense <laughs> for all my teenage years. Walking around stressed out. Yeah, I'm not relaxed in the slightest. 
<laughs> Why did Frankie say relax? I think when you're relaxed, mm -hmm. goes in easier. <laughs> oh, you think it was all about penetration? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of, I just thought he was telling everyone to calm down because it was the 80s and everyone was a little bit tense and stressy. Well, it could have been that, but if you've ever watched the video, there's a lot of fornication going on. There's fornication in the video? Mmm. In insinuated. Oh, so it's not actual. Yeah, it's not a porno. Oh, right. Okay, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it was on TV and everything. Mm, yeah. Well, anyway, thank you, Mike. As always, informative. That's my pleasure, Lee. <laughs> and we've got something special this week. We have been very kindly made our own little key rings. Ooh, oh, pretty. How exciting is that? So, yes. And they've been 3D printed, so it's modern. So it's modern. Modern. Now, E17 came okay with them, modern they? technology. Really. <laughs> <laughs> They're kicking themselves. If only we had that. Only if we had that. So we've got one for you. Oh, thank you. And we've got one for me as well, which is lovely. How lovely. And we have some for our lucky viewers out there. <gasps> oh. So what, what could we do for our viewers to win a key ringly? What would you like to see our viewers do? I don't know. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> it's a surprise for yeah. me, everybody. <laughs> where, okay, where would be the most novel place to hang your chewing the cud keyring from? Okay, so where are you going to hang your chewing the cud keyring from? That's novel and unique. And the best suggestion, the best five suggestions, will win one of these lovely, unique, one of a kind. Chewing the cud key rings. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. You sniff everything, don't you? You need to. And sometimes, <laughs> and if nobody was looking, I'd go like that. Oh, yeah, it tastes okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Why, why, did you, why are you sniffing the key rings? Because things smell. Do you never go, do you never, like, go into, like, a shop and, like, like, pick up a magazine or something and just, like, go, oh, yeah. No. Just me, then. <laughs> so let me get, you're walking around shops and sniffing things that you're not going to buy. Not everything, but just like things that I might buy. Don't but don't make it out like <laughs> I'm a weirdo because other people do this. Like some people like the smell of a new car that I've just bought. Yes. Yeah. 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 Or if you open, um, <laughs> <laughs> if you open like a packet of pens. Ooh, new pen smell. Okay. New. new. So so you've not been doing that recently, have you? No, no. Well, it's hard when you've got a mask on. Yeah, and, and of course, it's, it wouldn't be COVID secure, so we would not recommend anybody doing that. No, don't, don't smell yes. things. Only touch things you plan on buying. Anyway, you've waited long enough. It's coming up after the break is the next life lesson. Welcome back. If you can write the instructions on the back of a stamp, he knows how to do it. It's this week's life lesson from Lee. Life lessons. But if they're really small, I have to mm -hmm. put the bifocals on to see them properly. Bifocals, not very focals. All of the focals. All of the focals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of the big re reading magnifying glasses. Yeah, one of those huge <laughs> things you get from the back of the papers. So today we're going to make a personal item. Oh. Yeah, a personal massager. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so, what we're going to need today for this, mm -hmm. for this personal massager, is we're, we're going to need some bubble wrap. You've, you've got your got bubble, bubble wrap. wrap. Yeah. I have bubble wrap. Yeah. You pair of scissors. I have scissors. Some homosexual sellotape. I have some quite gay sellotape from an elaborate horse. I have as well, yeah. Um, and um, some glow sticks. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't have any glow sticks. I shall, well, uh, what kind of glow sticks are you... Colour, colour wise, are you going for? I, I tend to go for any colour glow. Any colour. I'll, I'll give you a selection. So, we'll, we'll, a couple of a pink, a yellow, a white. I'd never get the point of a white glow stick, but it's just a light, surely. Does it not? Does it not a green one? Does it not? Oh no, it's not green. It's yellow. Um, do they not? Um, just glow white. Yeah, they just look light. Okay, so I'm going to pass those to you. Thank you. Okay. Um, you also need a, a condom. Oh. You see, you know how you told me you needed something? Yeah. Right. 
and it was a bad phone line in my defense, right? Mm -hmm. So I didn't think you'd said prophylactic. What did you think I said, Mike? I thought you said probiotic, so I bought yogurt. T to be fair, you can utilize that once we've made it. Everything how, <laughs> how would you use it? Yeah, everything's a lube. Not everything is a lube. <laughs> not, not everything is a lube. Most things. Most yes. things. Um, all right, okay. Okay. But so I, that, know that you, I know that you, I know that it's always a condom in, in your oh, back yes, pocket. I, I always carry at least three in my back. Yeah, I, I got mine. When I took it out, the, do the moths flew off it and... Is it still safe to use? Um... It's been so long, I don't even know where it says it. <laughs> so you see it says expiration date. Oh, yes, yes, 2023. So, 2023, so you've yeah, got plenty so of time. Yeah, okay, okay, that's fine. Um, and then you're also going to need a, um, one, of those, one of these plastic toothbrush holders. Okay, what, what colour is calling to you? Which one is saying, please mas let me massage you? Yeah, the most. Um, I would say the blue one. The blue one? The blue one. Yes. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slide that over to you. Thank you. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm in no way going to go for the stereotype and go for the pink one. Because it's pretty. Um, so. To make your eye wink. Yeah. So what you need to do first is get, get your um, glow sticks uh -huh. and crack them. Crack them. Crack them good. How many do I need to crack? Crack them all. Crack them all? Yeah, crack them all. So I like that sound. Do you? Yeah, it's quite... I, I'm, I'm very tempted by the bubble wrap, to be fair. Don't, you can't. Not until the end. I it... can see you've got a big roll of it there, so yeah, I well, yeah. in my life. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, it reminds me of, of the sound my hips make when I get up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, once you've cracked them all and they're all glowing... Woo, it's 19... 80 something. I guess. <laughs> Would E17 have these? Um, probably. Yeah. 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 Okay. So then what you do is you take take your toothbrush holder, uh -huh. open it up, and oh, place yeah, and place your glow sticks inside. I'm liking that noise. Do you like that noise? I do. Okay. Okay, so glow sticks inside. Yeah. And then put the lid on top. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like much at the moment. It doesn't. It looks like someone's put glow sticks into Inside a, a yeah, shoulder. Yeah. Now, what I would suggest you do is, mm -hmm. uh, because that's quite loose. It is quite loose. It's quite well, loose. Mine's a little bit tight. It's not, I just pop a little bit of, of sellotape <laughs> around <laughs> the, the edge. Because you, when you're massaging yourself, uh -huh. you don't want anything to fall off. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> It would, it would... Um... You don't want any detachments. No. Okay. So once it's secure, what you do is you take your bubble wrap. Yeah. And um, with the bubbles facing outwards, mm -hmm. you wrap your toothbrush holder in the bubble wrap. Stop popping them, otherwise it will be an uncomfortable experience for you. <laughs> this doesn't look like it's going to be comfortable in the first place. So I, I, I want it to be bubbly side out. Yeah. Just wrap it up. Okay. Like you're wrapping a present, because it's a present to yourself, really. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. And then, yep. just sellotape it all together. Not like, wrap it in sellotape, but just secure the um, edges so that they don't, dis they don't fall to pieces. They don't... Okay. I got this idea from Blue Peter. Did they you made exactly the same thing. They, they, they were making this sort of thing with Blue Peter? Yeah. Was it Valerie Singleton? Yeah. How did I guess? Yeah. Now, you might need to fold your edges over... OK. ..to, to secure them and sellotape those as well. Very, very pride. It's, it's, got, it's, got, it's got jaggedy bits. It's got jangly bits. Well, it's got jaggedy bits, see? Yeah, well, that's OK, because what we're going to do next is... We are going to... Um, so, take your... Your prophylactic. The yoghurt. No, no, the, the latex sheath. OK. Um, and you want to open it. <laughs> right. Look, within <laughs> seconds. <laughs> no, we're not going to do it with our mouths this time, Mike. Oh. That's not so. Ooh. What's all that stuff? They're pre-lubed. Pre-lubed? Yeah. Nice. Um, so take your your condom. Uh huh. 
Imagine, if you will, mm -hmm. it's it's an appendage. Right. Um, and just pop it over the top and roll it down. You see, you're very, you're, look at that. Seconds. Whereas mine is just on the tip. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't get it any further. There we go. Does it need to go all the way down or are we just doing this? I would, you know, pull it all the way down. Okay. I don't know whether I've put mine on inside <laughs> out. <laughs> is it rolling down with ease or is it no. struggling? No. I, well, I've got, it, I've got it on now. Okay. Okay. Ooh. There's, well, a, there's a smell, isn't there? It's the smell of condoms. Okay. So basically now what you've got... <laughs> It's a plastic toothbrush holder full of <laughs> glow sticks wrapped in bubble foil with a condom on them. No, you haven't. You've got a personal massager that glows. Do, do you think there is any chance that we might be able to turn the studio lights down so we can see the full effect? <gasps> oh, look at that. Now, what you would do is, you know, if you've got a stiff neck, just... Ooh, that feels good. Good. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. Um, many uses. Please be careful when you're when you're using your your homemade personal massager. Um, yeah. What other th what other things lying around the house do you think you could potentially use as things to brighten your day? Um, possibly a, a, a dildo. Well, we went straight for it. Then, didn't you? <laughs> I was, was, was going was to beat around the bush a little bit. <laughs> We're trying to help people here. We're trying to give them life lessons of what what else is lying around the house. I would I would not be comfortable inserting this. Would you not? No, because it's got bubble wrap on it. But that's what makes it soft. And people would know where you that's are. Can't <laughs> <laughs> <Anybody, laughs> be discreet with this, can you? <laughs> if you're in the house with somebody and they're not uh -huh. sure where you are, they're just going to listen to the. <laughs> And they know. Oh, he's up. He's up in his room, wrapping bubbles again, putting things in bubble wrap. Oh dear. Well, um, I think I think you know that is probably one of the best things we've done for a long time. Um, if you have pictures of yours, <laughs> please send them to us, um, and we'll see how well you got on. <laughs> My condoms broke. Oh. As I was massaging it. I mean, you're going to have a baby. And that brings us to the end of this week's epic episode. We have enough time to remind you that we'll be back next week. But you can still find us on the internet, at the Could TV on your social media platforms, and the TV is our website. While you're on our website, have a look at the support section for extra content, including outtakes, and how you can get your hands on one of our mugs. Someone who contacted us on the socials is Mr. Augustine Circumflex from Upper Shoot in Hampshire. He sent us a photo for a picture of the weak spot, and he says... Dear Chewing the Cud, Here is a picture of my shiny black knob. Enjoy. Mr. Augustine Circumflex. Oh, that's a very impressive black knob. Mmm, I think I've heard that voice somewhere before. Is it, is it reading your erotic novels? <laughs> My sexy, rissy, romantic novels. Yes, about, yes. about yes. heaving bosoms and yeah. throbbing appendages. Yeah, thank you for that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs>